Hello, my lovely people, my lovely people. Okay, so today we get to do regulatory markings. Okay, so remember, we are still doing um, the, the signs, the road signs. So, um, actually, it's, it's actually road signs, uh, markings here. Yeah? Uh, it's road signs and surface markings yes they that's how they call it it's road signs and road surface markings so today we get to road surface markings road surface markings okay so these signs are used to control the actions of drivers and regulate the flow of traffic so before i start please 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 don't forget to subscribe like the video and share the video comment yeah so yeah uh let's get to it uh so the first one it's a stop line stop line so the stop line um means that you stop completely before the solid line move off when safe to do so this is um you stop completely before the solid line uh, this is the line they are talking about. So you stop your vehicle here before you don't touch it. You don't touch this line. Okay. So you stop and then you move when safe to do so. So stop line, it's different from a yield line. So normally what would happen here is that you have your road like this. Okay, sorry. Do this. So what would happen is that this is your road. This would be your road, okay? And then, uh, let's say the stop line is here, okay? And then here is your stop, okay? Stop there. Right, so there will be a stop here and then probably stop sign there, okay? Then you stop your vehicle here. So where the surface, where the surface is not marked anymore, let's say um, because of the ANC, let's say the ANC did something and now uh, the road is not uh, visible. They always blame the ANC. So you stop your vehicle in line with the stop sign, in line with the stop sign. Okay, that's what you do right and then you move when safe to do so remember you adhere to the um, road markings and the signs okay right so the first one is a stop line and then the second one is a yield line so notice that yield line and stop line is not the same the yield line is like um, broken lines are used the stop line um, solid line is used so when you get to yield line you slow down and give way to traffic and pedestrians crossing or waiting to cross your path this applies also at railway crossing you slow down and you give way to pedestrians who are already crossing or vehicles that have been there first and they are crossing the road and then you can or can move okay so sometimes you you don't have to necessarily bring your vehicle to a standstill okay moving on to the second to the third one pedestrian crossing pedestrian crossing right pedestrian crossing we are talking about this this is pedestrian crossing okay what is the function of pedestrian crossing is to give way to any pedestrians on or about to enter the pedestrian crossing on your side of the road from either side so if you are a pedestrian you'll be walking here you'll be walking between these lines you're walking between these lines you see that is pedestrian crossing lines and then you have block pedestrian crossing so this this thing um it's just the same as 
sometimes you get a board a, um you get a board like this remember warning okay then the right uh, and then you have a pedestrian right sometimes you get a board saying warning marked pedestrian then there is someone there okay so this one it's block pedestrian crossing but these ones are just pedestrian line it's not marked so these um this and that uh, have the same function you just have to um allow the pedestrian to cross except for i want you to notice something notice something here you have the stop line and here you have yield line okay so this one you might find it at an um just an intersection let's say you have an intersection like this okay whereby the cars need to maybe just yield but this one you may most probably find it where there's a robot because there's a stop line so you stop because the um, the traffic the traffic light says you must stop but this one you need to yield and then someone who is already here uh, may may also pass you always give way to pedestrians okay moving on moving on i'm not gonna take too much time then we have these ones no overtaking line no overtaking line you 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 don't i mean you 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 see no overtaking line fork no overtaking no overtaking on its own or on your side of a broken divided line you may not um, allow any part of your vehicle to cross the line except to access property on the other side exactly no crossing double line no crossing double line you may not allow any part of the vehicle to cross the line at any time the two solid lines sometimes have a broken divided line between them okay and then you have the channelizing line between lanes of traffic moving in the same direction you may not allow any part of the vehicle to to cross the line you may not the channelizing line so where do you find the channelizing line the channelizing line so this is let's say this is the this is the road okay so you have um this lane and then you have this other lane these lines this line and this line oh triangle oh 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 these lines are channelizing they are creating a channel there's a channel for this vehicle to move here as this one moves here when you see a, a channelizing line like this one when you see these lines channelizing lines like this one it's meant to do what you may not cross channelizing line okay it's just like that channelizing lines and then you have the yellow left edge marking you know the yellow line and you you must know the rules with regards to the yellow line yellow left edge you may not drive to the left of the yellow line except when permitted to i mean and except when permitted to allow another vehicle to overtake unless when permitted to allow another vehicle to overtake remember um with the rules the rule says you or the rule says you may not drive continuously on the yellow line okay you may not drive continuously on the yellow line not that you may not let's say this is your yellow line and then this is the division of the road this is the division of the road okay you're driving here says you may not drive continuously on the yellow line except when it's between sunrise and sunset between sunrise and sunset you may drive on the yellow line when there is a vehicle behind you that wants to overtake you 
and you can move to the yellow line without obstructing um i mean when you see excuse me when you see that there is no vehicle or property or any pedestrians that will obstruct you okay and when you see that your your vision is clear 150 meters ahead there is no one walking on the yellow line or there is no vehicle that is in front of you at least 150 meters ahead then that's what they're talking about here when they say you may you may not drive to the left of the yellow line except when permitted to allow another vehicle to overtake and then they say see rules of the road that's what i was talking about moving on you have the white right edge marking white right edge marking you may not drive across the right of the white line u-turns are not permitted on freeways u-turns are not permitted on freeways over the white edge line so then you ask yourself where will i u-turn you you will do a u-turn where the road allows you to do a u-turn okay and then you have this one uh road surface markings uh you have the pi the painted island have the painted island you may not drive or stop over the marking you may not drive on the painted island or even stop over the marking these this marking okay then we have this one painted island you may not drive or stop over the marking you may not drive or stop over the marking it's still a, a painted island i know sometimes people they stop there when maybe they are about to take the wrong off ramp but it's not allowed to do that okay you have your gps you have the painted island again you may not drive or stop there and then you have the parking bay. This is the parking bay. Right. Parking bay. So it's normally um, just on the, on the verge of the road. Uh, park only in the demarcated area and not on any side or verge. Any side walk or verge. So normally the parking bay, you've seen it. You've seen the parking bay. It's like this. This is your road. Um... And then you normally see something like this by the side of the road. And then when the cars park here, they park in a sort of like parallel parking. This is the car. This is another car. This is another car. Whilst they still, the, uh, the road is still here. So you park here. So this is the parking bay. Parking bay. It's just next to the pavement. Okay. So, and then you have these ones of which are your what? Regulatory. I mean, these are your signs. Uh, exclusive lanes. These ones are for exclusive lanes or exclusive uh, parkings. So you have A for ambulance, ambulances, B for buses, T for taxis, F for firefighters, uh, C, D for diplomatic vehicles, M, B for mini buses. This is not mercedes benz this is not mercedes benz this or motorbikes this one is for mini buses okay d for defense force p for police sos for sos telephone in an emergency call or in an emergency only in an emergency only okay rickshaws 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 or rickshaw labo batole teguin all right um and then you have the loading zone loading zone Okay, and then here is exclusive parking bay then. You see with this marking, A for ambulances. So this parking is reserved for ambulances only. And then this one, uh, it's an exclusive parking bay for vehicles carrying disabled persons. Um, and then you have the mandatory direction arrows. Mandatory direction arrows, these ones. So that means you definitely... Once you get here, let me get my marker. Once you get here, once you get here, you definitely have to turn there. When you get here, you definitely have to either go straight or turn there. You cannot want to turn the other side. No. Right? When you get here, you have to go straight. 
To get here, you have to go straight or turn there. And then when you get here, you definitely have to turn the other way. Here, you turn there or there. Okay? All right. Sorry. Let's continue. Let um, me get my eraser. Okay. Um, these are mandatory direction errors. And then you have the lane reservation for buses only. Lane reservation for buses only. No other vehicles, um, no other vehicle type may drive, stop, or park in this lane for buses only. And then tram, no other vehicle may drive, stop, or park there. So the lane reservation, I mean, they ride for what? You see, lane reservation for hazardous goods. So hazardous, dangerous goods. That truck that uh, uh, exploded in Boxback, hazardous. So this lane is reserved for those for the for trucks of that sort, bicycle lanes, and then the box junction. Box junction is to be kept clear. This is a keep clear zone. This one this a keep clear zone you shall not stop here you shall not park there because it's meant to be kept clear it's a keep clear zone you shall not stop there and you shall not park there okay uh spoken about this and then the no stopping solid red light okay you may not stop on on next to this red line at any time that red line you may not stop there at any time but obviously like if the situation is beyond your control it's beyond your control so yeah and then no stopping you may not stop here during the times or time indicated on the accompanying road sign so there will be a road sign which will tell you that you may not stop here during whatever time and then no parking solid line no parking solid yellow line this one no parking but you you may stop but you may not park this one you may not stop so uh, so also you may not park there you have this one no parking uh yellow line no parking during the times so you know that there will be a sign which will tell you which you may not park here during these times and then you have motorcycles so you have this sign you know what he this is reserved for motorcycles and then you have the mini circle mini circle you know that um traffic goes clockwise direction and you know that any vehicle that crosses the yield line first has the right of way the, the yield line we've talked we've spoken about it any vehicle that crosses this line first has the right of way okay whilst you're still watching please don't forget to subscribe um okay there uh disabled per persons parking this one this is the parking for disabled persons and then um exclusive lane uh we've covered these buses trams and 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 going forward this one is railway crossing ahead railway crossing railway crossing continuity line this one this road uh way the roadway to the left of the thick marking discontinues straight ahead. The gaps become progressively shorter as the line continues. Okay? Uh, this is the lane line. You know this one. Lane line. And then dividing line. Um, and then reversible lanes. Reversible lanes. Um, the reversible lane means that this lane this lane can be used by cars traveling that direction and also coming back it's a reversible lane okay so you'll get for the reversible lane you may get a a sign which is like this um which is like this okay like this and then like this this sign is to tell you that this is a reversible lane 
so you give right of way to oncoming traffic okay and then uh, moving on mandatory direction arrow ahead you 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 see the difference you have the mandatory direction arrow and then this one says ahead there is a mandatory direction arrow so when you see the white one the white one tells you that you will find the yellow one which you, which will um will be mandatory for you to turn also this one and that and that and that and that okay yebo yebo yes um so no overtaking or crossing lines ahead no overtaking this one no overtaking okay it's not the same as the mandatory this one says no overtaking or crossing end of exclusive lane end of end of exclusive use lane end of exclusive you see this these yellow lines they were telling you that it's an exclusive lane but when you see this it says it's the end it's the end you see end of exclusive use lane and then the vacation arrow markings the vacation arrows you see there is an increase in the number of lanes ahead in the direction or uh, directions indicated by the arrow so it tells you that there's an increase of lanes going the same direction this one is the direction of travel indication or indicators okay and then cycles crossing you see that means i'm getting a pedestrian crossing this one is is cycle crossing for the bicycles okay yield ahead and then arrest a bed no 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 the arrest a bed they should uh, write a sign for you like this okay uh sorry i think here is for the arrest a bed they made a mistake here here is the arrest a bed the arrest a bed right this one arrest a bed and then you have the escape road ahead the escape if you want to for emergency purposes you you want to escape the freeway then you just take the de uh, a detour you escape All right speed hump you know it and then um and then this one cabin keeping keeping to indicate the presence of a raised sidewalk or island cabin so it's for the sidewalk for the sidewalk sometimes we knock totally pavement that is like this okay bicycles okay so this one is just extra this one is bicycle um you overhead uh, uh airport direction um gives extra guidance okay this one uh you know you know we've covered these ones okay right so the um, and then we have covered all of the road markings then the rules we've covered the rules so we will then cover the um, did we cover the warning signs we'll cover the warning signs but this is the end of our lesson today thank you for tuning in see you again next time